Meeting Van Cliburn in 1997 at the competition wasn't actually my first time meeting him. It was my second. The first time was when I was maybe eight or nine years old, and he came to the Bay Area to play where I was growing up and uh, gave a phenomenal recital. I even remember it as a, as a young child. Uh, I knew it was something amazing even back then. Uh, and I remember he played one of my favorite pieces at the time, which was the uh, Opus 53 Polonaise of Chopin. And that was my uh, go-to piece. Um, and what I remember from that day was that he knelt down on the floor backstage when I came back, waited in line, uh, and talked to me for quite a while. Um, this nothing kid who had come to hear one of the greatest in the world play uh, a recital in a hometown theater, and here was this immense figure spending time just to make me feel welcome and valued and heard. And the wonderful thing about all of this is that in 1997, when I met him again, I got to tell him what an impact that had on me and what a difference it made in my life. And even after 97, as a professional, I take that memory with me wherever I go. Because from Van, I learned that it's not necessarily what you do on stage that's going to last. It's, it's the differences that you make off the stage and how you affect lives just by being who you are. And, and Van, I will always be grateful immensely for, for that. You have given me amazing gifts, and that is foremost among them.